Hello and welcome to Partition DB's basic setup and capabilities demo. In this demo, we're going to go over how to create a gate and partitions and to show you some basic capabilities of our platform. As you can see here, this is our graphic user interface. You can perform any action from this tool as well as from the API. Let's see how easy it is to create a gate. Here you can select the name for your gate and to modify it to act according to your needs. There are many possibilities here and we'll go over them in a later time. All you have to do is just click save changes and the gate will be created. And as you can see, the gate was created quickly and easily. Partitions can be added with the same ease. Just assign a partition value, some description and comments if you'd like. Select the database under which the partition should exist. Is active, yes, and submit changes. For the sake of demonstration, let's repeat the process. Just this time we're going to set up a global DB. The process is exactly the same. Let's go over to the Object Explorer and see that the system has indeed performed as expected. We are going to repeat the same process using the API. This first part is just to make sure that the databases we're about to create don't already exist in our platform. In the second step, we're going to create the databases that are going to be used as partitions for our gate later on. This next command is going to set up the gate itself. It can take many variables to govern the working of the gate, but for now we're going to specify only the gate name and the partitioning column. And the last part is going to take the formerly created databases and declare them as partitions of our gate. As you can see, the platform has indeed created the partitions, and let's go over to the graphic user interface to make sure they are visible to our platform. As you can see, all of the databases that were created are indeed visible, completely integrated with Microsoft SQL. And if we'll go over to MS SQL's Object Explorer, we can take a look and see that all of the databases actually exist and there is a complete integration between our platform and MS SQL. In this segment, we're going to show you the replication principles of our platform. Let's start by creating a table to be replicated to all of the children databases. As you can see, we're running all of the commands from the gate. The system is letting us know that it has successfully created the table in all of the relevant uh, children databases. If we'll switch over to the Object Explorer, we could see the table has been created under the gate as well as under any of the children databases, i.e. partitions. Let's create a table to be replicated solely to the common database. As you can see, the system is letting us know that it has created the table at the gate and in the common database. As you can see, the Object Explorer will tell us that the table has been created accordingly in the North Gate as well as the North Common, which is the common database. In contrast to a normal partition database that will not have this table. When inserting data into a partition table, you can actually use two options. If you want the data to go over to all of the partitions, you shouldn't specify a partition value. As you can see here, we're inserting null. This will result in the same data row to be inserted into all of the databases. And if we'll run a quick query just to make sure that it indeed worked as intended, you can see that it has indeed been created in all of the children DBs.
Another possibility is obviously to specify the partition value into which you want to insert the row of data or update. This will obviously result in only this partition to be affected. Let's run a quick query just to make sure that this is indeed working. And as you can see, the rows of data have indeed been created. Inserts into the common work just as you know from MSSQL. Nothing has changed. Since these tables do not exist in multiple databases, there is no question of replication. And let's run a query just to make sure that everything is working accordingly. As and you can see, everything is. Regarding stored procedures, there are three options. The first one is just a stored procedure that is going to be created on the gate. Obviously, it can incorporate any logic to include all of the databases under it, since it is intended to run from the gate that has access to all of its children databases. If we'll go over to the Object Explorer, we can see that the stored uh, procedure was created at the gate and was not created in another children DB, for example, as you can see. Another option is a stored procedure that will be replicated to all of the children databases. For it to occur, the only thing you must do is simply specify the letters PU at the last, at the end of the name. And if we'll go and refresh the Object Explorer, and go over to the gate, we could see that the stored procedure was indeed created. And in addition, it's going to be created in all of the children databases, as you can see here, for example. The last option is to create the same replication, only using an encryption, meaning that the gate could modify and execute the stored procedure, but children databases under it will not be able to do so. As we can see, the replication worked accordingly if we'll just refresh and as you can see, all from cards PE exists under the gate. Let's go ahead and see another partition. And as you can see here, it cannot be modified, although it can be executed normally. As you can see, modification from the gate is possible. Moving on to functions. Functions replicate the same way. If you don't specify neither PU or PE, it's just going to be created at the gate or at the local database that you're running. If you're going to run PU, it's going to be replicated to all of the partitions. And if you're going to replicate using PE, it's going to be replicated encryptedly so that children databases could not modify nor view the logic that composes that function. And as you can see from the Object Explorer, the functions were indeed created under the gate all three of them, and under the partitions, only two should be created, ending with PU and PE. And as you can see, they were indeed created. And they cannot be modified. And lastly, let's demonstrate the replication of an index. Pay attention to the fact that we are running this command on the gate as always. And as you can see, the system is letting us know that indeed it is created uh, an index and was replicated throughout the system. As usual, let's go uh, over the Object Explorer just to make sure that everything worked according to plan. As you can see in the Object Explorer, sorry, uh, the index has indeed been created. Now let's go ahead and choose a random uh, children DB and make sure that the index was created on its equivalent table as well. And as you can see, it has indeed been created.